stocking or can't that's not a stocking jesus i'm getting old <laughs> that is a candy cane donya that's a candy cane I just wanted to come on real quick and share a Goodwill haul with y'all. So as soon as I walked into my Goodwill this morning, there were two jewelry bags waiting there. So I snatched them up real quick. Um, they were $29.99 each. And I'm super excited. I've been having a lot of luck lately finding the jewelry jars. I don't know what's going on, but looks on my side. So, and then this one. So you guys get ready for some unboxings. Um, I know that the jewelry uh, unbaggings or unjarring can be kind of boring so what I've kind of started doing now is just like showing the bags whenever I um, you know whenever I get them so you can see what the bag looks like and then I'll open it and then just kind of separate the good stuff from the bad stuff and show you guys you know the better stuff and, and talk about that instead of just going through every single piece and it can take a long time and the video can get super lengthy um, but not only that, so I left that location and then went to another Goodwill by my house, which I don't usually go to. I mean, I don't even think I've been to this Goodwill in probably three weeks, but I walk in and I'm shopping. I'm almost done shopping. Um, and then I see a lady bringing a jewelry bag out from the back. Like she's headed towards the front with it. I was like, Hey, is that a jewelry bag? And she said, yes. I said, let me look at it. And so, um, I got that one too. Let me show you what it looks like. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah. Um, I'm excited. She said there might be some good stuff in here, so we'll see what she says. And this one was also $29.99. So y'all, I've got some jewelry to go to go through. Plus, I still have some more at home. So what I look for in these bags is gold and silver, of course, and any kind of um, high-end designer brands. And then what if I don't find anything, I'll put it back in a jewelry jar or um, I'll sell some of the pieces individually in my antique booths. So I have two antique booths and a showcase also where I pretty much just sell all jewelry on that one. Um, so I did get a couple other things. Let me, these bags are so heavy. Which do they weigh like, I don't know, five or eight pounds or something. So I wanted to show you guys, wait. Oh yeah, I already showed you that bag. So there's three jewelry bags. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. I got a couple things of clothes for um, me and then I got something for my daughter. Let me tear this bag open. So is everybody ready for Christmas? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, okay, yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. This is super cute. It's a little kitty cat and it's like a tea light or a votive holder. And this one is um, by Party Light. They always have that recognizable little logo there. But this was just too cute. If I don't end up keeping it, I'll probably put this in my booth for like, I don't know, $10 or something. Like that. I thought I got something else breakable in there. <laughs> and the other thing I got was, I cannot resist green, green glass. I love green glass. And this has been sitting in the store probably for like a week. I keep walking past it and seeing it and nobody's bought it. Uh, it was only 99 cents. Look how pretty it looks in the sun. It's just gorgeous. So I'm probably going to use it like as a paperweight or you know what? It could also be like a ring holder to display like when you're taking pictures to sell jewelry. So um, yeah, real cute. It was only 99 cents and there is a brand on it. It's uh, oh gosh, Zodi Zodax. I think it's Z O. Z-O-D-A-X, made in Portugal, I believe it says. It's really hard to see, probably can't see it too well, but it's really pretty. Oh, and I got my nails done today. I was like so over the red, it's not like me to get dark colors anyway, but um, yeah, I'm back to the light pink. <laughs> Let's see if we got any more breakables. I don't think so. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I can't remember. Did I already show you guys these? These are the socks I got my husband. <laughs> they look brand new, but they're like little, he didn't even like martinis, I don't think, but these are just so cute and colorful. 
Um, and he's always he's always misplacing his work socks. Like he thinks the dryer's eating his socks. I don't know. Maybe I think what's happening is some of the socks of his are going in my son's drawers and vice versa. And then when they get ready to wear them, they're like they can never find the matching one. Uh, so, and then I got this cute little kitty. I don't even know what show he could be from, but I thought he was really cute. Um, and his tag says Bad Kitty. So, from Bad Kitty, written and illustrated by Nick Burrell, a Neil Porter book. So, um, yeah, he's just too cute. He could just like sit somewhere on a shelf. He's so adorable. <laughs> I, have a, I have a thing with cats. I don't know what it is, but I love cats. Uh, and then the other thing, the last thing I got was this bag of ornaments. So it's marked $6.99, but all the white tag stuff is half off right now. So that's that's like all the um, the Christmas stuff. So, and the reason why I bought it is because I saw these real pretty ornaments in here. They've got this uh, gold uh, edging around them. So I thought we'd open this up and look at these real quick. So I do carry scissors in my car. <laughs> Up here on the visor, I've got like little pouches, so I carry uh, some scissors and a ruler, you know, we never know when you might need a ruler. Mainly I use it to touch my back. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so what's up in this bag here? So yeah, I don't have to do a lot of cooking for Christmas, which is good because, I don't know, the older I've gotten, I'm just not crazy about cooking the way I used to be when I was younger. But, so I do have to make a corn casserole and y'all, I'm making mean corn casserole. I got this recipe from my mother-in-law's where I first found out about it. And it's just like a can of regular corn, a can of cream of corn, uh, and then you saute in butter, bell pepper, onions, and um, celery. And you let all that cook down and then you add it to the mix with cheese whiz and cooked white rice. Oh my gosh, and then you bake it, it's so good. Okay, the first one, the first little ornaments is a pretty little mirror. That's really pretty. I'll definitely put that on our tree. And then we have a pretty cross. Looks like somebody handmade it. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. We got a little wreath. This one definitely looks vintage to me. That's cute. Um, it, this is a brand new uh, stocking cookie cutter. Stocking or can't. That's not a stocking. Jesus, I'm getting old. <laughs> that is a candy cane, Tanya. That is a candy cane, not a stocking. Good grief. Uh, little cheapy Merry Christmas plastic ornament. Oh, another star <laughs> cookie cutter, brand new. We got a little, looks like this, he's made of like clay or something. A little sand claws. These are cute. I'm getting to the good one, y'all. This one says cookies for Santa. I don't know what in the world I'll do with this one. I think this is, let's see, wait, oh, so I didn't break nothing. This is like a Barbie ornament. I don't know, I'll probably redonate that one. My little girl's out of the Barbie stage, y'all. She's gonna be 13 in March, can you believe it? Uh, we got a little Santa with a styrofoam body and a glass head. Does that say Santa? That's a snowman. That is a snowman. Some little uh, plastic candies. Okay, finally to the good ones. So, okay, here's, here's one of them. Little angel praying. It's got some little marabou feathers. And see how the, it has the gold there? It's so pretty. So let's see what the back says. It says, Angels, Prayers, Small Blessings, Ornament Collection. Bradford Edition, 1999. So I don't know if these are worth anything, but they're really pretty. I think they look gorgeous on the tree. There's a few of them. I don't break them first. Oh my gosh, you know I have to keep this one. <laughs> so this is a cat. It's called Fluffy. How cute. Oh, I love these. And then we have another little praying angel. And they, I think they're like porcelain or something. It probably says, no, 1999. This one's called Kind Embrace, Small Blessings. 
I see another cat or something. Oh, it is another little cat, little angel cat. And this one's named Sassy. Sassy. <laughs> little sassy cat. Meow. Uh, oh, this little angel, she is holding a kitty cat. And this one's called Heavenly Kisses. So cute. I think that's all of the ones like that. And then we got some, I don't know, snowmen. They either, they're either, oh, it looks like they're climbing. I'm not sure. I was like going to say they were flying. <laughs> so yeah, but I think they're, I think they're climbing and it looks like somebody hand painted it. Um, getting a message. So, um, yeah, really cute. Love this one. And then it's just a bunch of like some little cheap plastic candy canes <laughs> and a star. I was about to say a star with the bill, but the bill just fell off. Fell off. I think it was um, separate. Yeah, that's a separate little little bitty tiny ornament. Okay. Okay. How boring is this? Are you guys bored? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to go through a bag of ornaments, but this is a pretty cross, real lightweight. I think it's like actually plastic, but still it's pretty with the little red gems on it. And just two more. A little snowman riding a, uh, well, I was going to say like a rocking horse, but I think that's like a reindeer. Riding a reindeer. Very cute. The bottom says, looks like somebody wrote in pen in 1991 on the bottom there. And then the last one is actually a brooch. And it's a Christmas tree. And the back, it has those two hands. I think that's actually the name of the company. Uh, two hands. I've seen that on other pieces of jewelry that I have. So, And I've looked it up before and I, I think it's actually the name of a a company so super cute I'll probably sell this one for like 10 bucks on eBay it's so cute and it looks like it could also be a pendant too if you wanted to you could put a little um, I don't know what you call those like a jump ring or something right there you could wear it as a necklace very be very festive so um yeah you guys that's all I got for today so be looking for those jewelry videos it's it takes me a while to go through all of them because when I sit down to go through a bag of jewelry like that, I mean, I could be sitting there, I'm not even kidding, for three hours. I need to figure out a way to speed up the process. So if you guys know of a way and you're willing to share it with me, I would love to hear your opinions. Oh my, get on down the road, goodness. <laughs> so um, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your Tuesday and we will see you guys probably tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody.